Here are three du'as that you'll need to know before Ramadan. The du'a for beginning the fast. I intend to keep the fast tomorrow in the month of Ramadan. The du'a for breaking the fast. Allahumma inni laka sumtu wa bika, amantu wa alayka, tuwakkaltu wa ala rizqika aftart. Meaning, O oh Allah, I have fasted for you, and I believe in you, and I trust in you, and I break my fast with your sustenance. And the dua for your efforts to be accepted. Rabbana taqabbal minna, innaka anta sami'ul alim. Meaning, O oh our Lord, accept this service from us. Surely you are the hearer and the knower. Allahumma ameen. So where's this guy spending his New Year's Eve right now? I'll show you now. You're going to show yeah, us where he's going? I came back from the cemetery. I opened my lunchbox to get something quickly to eat and I had to go straight away and pick up another dead body. That's life. Yani, we're working for the little man. Thanks to the LMA Islamic Criminal Services, 365 days a year, Alhamdulillah. Because in Islam, there is no uh, days off. So is this where he's spending his New Year's party? Habibi, this is where we're all going to spend our New Year's party if we die on New Year's Eve. In the fridge, in a fridge, where the brothers and the sisters now probably got their drinks, all in the fridges and their snacks. We're going to put our brother in the fridge. That could have been me, that could have been you, that could have been anybody. Wallah, wallah, wallah. I say this from my heart. This brother was alive. Now he's not. I could be next, you could be next. Tukurabko, mate. Beware of what you do tonight. Anyone who's going to do anything that goes against our religion of Islam, drinking, fornication, zina. Look at this man, and this is an example that Allah has given us. Stop it. Stop it before it's too late. So being at Brighton today is alright, Amr? Being in Brighton, okay, any other day is alright, but not tonight. Because tonight we know what goes on. Where's all the friends? Where's all the family for this man? Where's all your mates that are going to come to your party tonight? They're going to hang out with you at the barbecue. Or whatever you have on. Where are they all? They all mean nothing. Kind of what? brother once, I had a brother, he came to me with his wife. A brother came with his wife, gave me salam, and I'm thinking, oh, this is awkward, bro. This is, again, it's not halal haram. I'm not speaking about halal and haram. So he comes up to me, he gave me salam. I'm thinking, oh my God, yes, how I'm thinking, this is awkward. And then he gets me, uh, brother, this is my wife. I'm thinking, okay, salam alaikum. So she puts her hand down, she gets me, salam alaikum, brother. So I'm thinking, Wallah, yani, do I headbutt you first or do I headbutt your husband? Or do I just do a clothesline and just knock out the both of you? What do you mean, Salaam Alaikum, brother? And he's standing there. Look, Wallah, Wallah, it's not because he's bad. Wallah, it's not because he's an evil person. But because there's no men in our society, the very concept of ghira and honor has been lost. Many of us, lose our temper in Ramadan especially when the fast is long and it's probably the last third of the match when I say the match I mean you know your 90 minutes it's almost the end there's excitement mashallah and you're almost there and suddenly something happens and you just lose it what happened shaitan shaitan made you get angry he wants to spoil your fast you might argue but where is shaitan he's supposed to be tied up well, there are so many explanations of that. Either you become a little devil or the major shayateen are locked up, but the little ones are causing all the disaster. That's also an explanation. Allah 
or acting upon it and acting upon ignorance and doing power engaging in that. Allah Azza wa Jalla will not immediately stop in yourself. Why are you starving yourself? That doesn't mean that these actions that you might have been false, by the way. But you're fasting without any reward. You get nothing else that fast. A day wasted. Because one day that you fast for Allah, you know what you get out of it. You never fast for Allah. One day, Allah distances you from hell by 70 years. وَإِنْ كَبُرَتْ هُمُومُكَ لَا تُبَالِي فَلُطْفُ اللَّهِ فِي الْآفَاقِ أَكْبَرْ وَمَنْ غَيْرُ الْإِلَاهِ يُرِيحُ قَلْبًا تَخَطَّفَهُ الْأَسَى حَتَّى تَكَدَّرْ سَيَأْتِيكَ الَّذِي تَرْجُوهُ يَوْمًا فَلَا تَعْجَلْ عَلَيْهِ وَإِنْ تَأَخَّرْ Look at the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم He says, he says one day when I was sleeping Two men came to me Yani angels But two men came to me and they took me to a cracked mountain, a mountain which was difficult to climb. And they told me to climb, climb the mountain. So I said, I'm not able to climb. They said, we'll help you. And after climbing to the top of the mountain, the Prophet wasallam he heard voices, howling, screaming. He said, what are these voices? Who are these voices for? They said to him, this is the howling of the howling, the screaming of the screaming, the crying of the crying of the people of the fire. And then he heard or he saw people, listen to this very attentively my brothers, he saw people hung upside down by their hamstrings, by their hamstrings, with the side of their faces torn. And the hadith mentions on top of the side of their faces, their mouths being torn, there was blood pouring out of their mouths. And then the Prophet wasallam he said, who are these individuals? And they replied to him, these are the people that broke their fast before the time of breaking the fast was due. Nah, 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 come on, come on, hurry, 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 hurry! Before testimonies swearing by Allah that indeed he. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام را تلك آيات الكتاب وقرآن مبين ربما يود الذين كفروا لو كانوا مسلمين يا عبادي الذين آمنوا إن أرضي واسعة فإياي فاعبدون كل نفس ذائقة الموت كل نفس ذائقة الموت ثم إلينا ترجعون Brother, brother! My guy, what you said? What you doing, my boy? I, nah, I just got some, like, serious questions. You feel what I'm saying? Because I'm about to, you know, because, you know, I want to, you know, because I really want to do this. You feel what I'm saying? Come on. So, look, bro, you know Ramadan's coming up, right? Yes, sir. And, like, I just want to ask, like, you can't eat or drink, right? You can't eat or drink, brother. <laughs> don't do that. Don't like, do that. like... Like, how am I supposed to, like, be alive? Like, me, like, I, like, I need energy. Like, and what I do, like, I eat so I can get energy. So how do I, like, like, bro, like, what do I do? You know what it is, bro? It's the first, like, couple of, how, how long do you want to do it for? You want to do it every day? Or are you doing a couple Bro, I'm doing it for, like, bro, the whole thing, bro. I'm not going to lie, bro. I'm challenging myself, bro. Bro, I'm telling you, give it a go, man. Give it a try. 
but I'm, I'll, I'll be honest, it's, it's going to be hard for the first couple of days, and then you get used to it, but it's like great. You can't, but you have to be praying as well. Do you pray? Do you have to pray? Yes, yes. I pray every single night. Well, cool. But we, we, but we, have, we have five. Five? In, in, oh, in, my. Five prayers. Remember I told you about this one? Yeah, you did, you did, you did. God. So it's the morning, it's the one in the, just in the afternoon, it's the one before sun, sunset, then we've got one on sunset, then boom, one in the night. Damn. Damn. But don't worry, I'm going to find out the time if I'm going to and then I'm going I'm to message you every time it's time. So look, all right, baby, so like what time can you eat then? It depends, because obviously London is different timing compared to you, where, you're, where, you at, where you're at right now. You're not, where, you're, you know where you're at, right? Can I say where you're at? No, 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 no. <laughs> there, there you go, I'm not dumb. I had to make sure I ask. But anyway, you can text me and then you tell me exactly where it is and I'll find out for you, bro. All right, but what about London time then? Like, like I mean, like London time, like, what do you eat? Like, so we're breaking fast like, around like around this time, so 6.30 for London, 6.30 p.m. And then we just break fast and then we, uh, you have to start fasting again around 4 a.m.-ish. So I can't, wait, so that's not bad. I can eat at, what? That's not bad then. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So... America will probably be a little bit different, but I'm sure you, it won't be it won't be too too bad, bro. I'm telling you, you can do this, man. Yeah, bro, man, eh, bro. No, can, no, can you do it? Of course I can, bro. I do this every year. You sure? <laughs> yeah, I might like food, but I, I can I can fast, bro. It's for the sake of Allah, man. It's amazing. It's a great feeling. All right, Chuck, I don't fail on me, bro. bro. But do you know what you do? You, you learn about the religion this month. You take it serious, man. Yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, trust me, bro. I'm not either drinking. I'm. Just... What about, can you like take a shower? Of course you can, brother. Okay. All right, you can yeah, take you can, a shower. You can, you can, shower, of course. You, you you can brush your teeth, teeth, right? You can brush your yeah, teeth? Yeah, yeah, you can brush your teeth. Yeah, you yeah, can, yeah. bro, I got it then. I can brush my teeth, take a shower. You... Yeah, bro, you can even go to the toilet. Oh, I can take a shit? You can take a shit. You can take two if you want. Okay. Oh, yeah, bro, bro, I'm, I'm chilling. This is easy, bro. I I you can... nah. I'm about to. Huh? Oh yeah, oh Chung, oh, I got this in a bag, boy. There come go. on, Ramadan, here we come. I'm here. <laughs> say Ramadan Mubarak. Huh? Ramadan. Ramadan. Mubarak. No, it's Eid Mubarak, dumbass. No, you can. It's also Ramadan Mubarak. You can say Ramadan Kareem, but it's Ramadan Mubarak, bro. Eid. Ramadan Mubarak. Ramadan Mubarak. Yeah, that's close. That's good enough. We'll take that from us. Don't worry about it, man. Sorry, but I'm ready, bro. Yo, Chun, that's all I want, bro. I don't want to. I don't want to take you up that much. I really do miss talking to you so much. Hopefully, you're doing good, bro. And good luck, bro. Whatever you're doing. Take care, brother. Man. And hold on, wait. Once we first day of my dog. Yeah, and you and you look great. I'm not gonna lie. Like you look like good. Like like you look like cute. Like 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 no weird shit. Like okay, take care, brother. No. Yeah, doing next again. Bro, no. <laughs> You know the shoe that he wears? You should put it and wear it on your head like a crown. Not because of the value of the shoe. May Allah raise you all in ranks. But of the value of the one that wears it. And it is unbelievably selfish. That a young man comes and says to me, But why can't I do what I want? You, my brother, and you, my sister, you didn't fall from the sky. Someone bled and cried and broke their backs to watch you grow. Ya Allah, 
وأنت رب هذه الحياة ومقدرها ومسيرها وكل شيء عندك في كتاب سبق وجودنا فيه نسألك في كل أمر أن تضيء لنا الطرقات بنورك الذي يبدد الظلمات Focus. You want to be the best. You want to worship Allah. You want success in this dunya. You want success in the akhirah. Don't waste your energy about everything else. Focus on Him and Him. The hellfire is not a place, brothers, that you go to a dungeon underground where there is fire. It's not like prison. Hellfire is a beast. Allah will speak to hellfire and hellfire brothers it will roar and it will chase down the people who run after them and it will snatch them and it will grab them Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran يَوْمَ نَقُولُ لِجَهَنَّمْ on the day we will speak to the fire of hell and we will say هَلْ انْتَلَأْتْ have you become full and the hellfire will say, Hal min mazid. Is there any extra? Akhi Allah would have burnt the people inside of the hellfire. Allah is going to place the people on top of each other. Then He's going to throw them and toss them inside of the hellfire or cause the angels to toss them inside of the hellfire. No respect. Piled on top of one another and dashed in the fire. And after they're full, the hellfire will be asked, Are you satisfied? The hellfire will say, Hal min mazid. Is there more? I want to burn more. And we need to always remember this hadith. It is my favorite hadith. What is this hadith when the Prophet said, You don't leave something for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal. Doing it out of taqwa, being conscious of Him, Allah Azza wa Jal, Almighty, except He will always give you that which is better. You may be involved in haram and you're trying to balance between deen and dunya. Wallahi brothers and sisters, you leave it for the sake of Allah Azza wa Allah will always give you that which is better. There was a brother that I heard a story of. For 30 years he's been trying to go to Mecca. 30 years. He, he wants to see the Kaaba. Every year for some reason his visa gets rejected. Every year. You ask him, why? Bo, look, I'll show you the papers, my guy. Saudi Arabia is not accepting me for no reason. I don't have a criminal record, I don't have nothing. Actually, there must have been something you've done that's so terrible, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not allow you to enter his house. What's the situation? The brother said, I came home one day. The last day of, what's the month before Ramadan? Shaban. Sha'ban, the last day of Sha'ban, the next day is Ramadan. That same night is when they start reciting the Quran. The night of Ramadan started. He said, I walked in. I was high, I was high, I was bunning. On top of that, I was intoxicated by alcohol. He said, I walked in, I saw my mom in the kitchen, and my mom looked at me and says to me, says to me, oh son, today is the last day of Sha'ban. Tonight is the first day of Ramadan. My son, Repent to Allah. Repent to Allah. Come to your senses. And do you know what this man done? The man said, I was so intoxicated while my mother being in the kitchen. He said, I pushed her so hard that she burned all of herself here. She had third degree skin burns. And her and whatever she was wearing started to be stuck onto her arm. And all of going up here with a hijab one, it was also stuck to the level where she had to go into an emergency surgery. Her mother asked. Her mother asked and wanted good for her son. Her son pushed her mother to such a level, she now has to suffer with this for the rest of her life. The brother says, I believe because of this action that I've done, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has rejected me from entering his house. So the Sheikh said to him, go to your mother and ask her for forgiveness. He said, how can I go to my mother and ask her for forgiveness when she has returned back to Allah?
Before you go to sleep, say this dua so Allah may forgive all of your sins insha'Allah. The Prophet sallallahu said, whoever while they're going to bed says the following, La ilaha illallah, there's no deity worthy of worship but Allah. Wahdahu la sharika lah, only Allah, he has no partners. Lahu al-mulk, all kingdom belongs to him. Wa lahu al-hamd, all praise is due to him. Wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir, he is capable of doing anything and everything. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi al-aliyy al-azim. There's no change or power except by Allah, the exalted, the most great. Subhanallah, Allah is free from every imperfection. Walhamdulillah. وَلَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَاللَّهُ أَكْبَرُ Whoever says that Allah forgives all of their sins even if they wear as much as the foam of the ocean. And I just wanted to be there with you The place that no eye has ever seen The place that no heart has ever perceived I had a great feeling inside of me That one day يا من صليت بكل الأنبياء يا من في قلبك رحمة للناس يا من ألفت قلوبا بالإسلام يا حبيبي يا شافعي يا رسول الله بأمي و So no water, yes. no food. Mm -hmm. Why? You have to get closer to Allah. You're African, so you're good. Eh? What kind of forever? Eh? What? What? Eh? <laughs> If this world was worth even the wing of a mosquito in the sight of Allah, he wouldn't have given a disbeliever even a sip of water from here. What does that even mean? It means the only reason why Allah allows disbelievers to enjoy the pleasures of this dunya is because compared to the hereafter, it has no value. It means we shouldn't chase or value worldly things the way disbelievers do. Because we're only here for a short amount of time. We're only travelers here. When we all wake up on the day of judgment, our entire life is going to feel like it's been a day. A day. So invest in the hereafter instead. Every time we recite, Alhamdulillah, SubhanAllah, La ilaha Allah, and Allahu Akbar, a tree is planted in our name in Jannah in heaven to invest in the hereafter instead.